Now, Mona, you made sure the set was repainted. The dancers' contracts were all signed. You have your fire permit. Check, check, and check. And I also have the names of two cute firemen. I'll be checking that later. <laughs> hey, Spencer. Hey, Mona. Hey. I'm here for our lunch date. Ooh, candy. Mama. That's three hours' work, and I can't go to lunch until I finish this. Mona Thorne, what are you doing? What every good record executive does, sorting candy for a temperamental recording artist. <laughs> and they don't come more temperamental than Dante El Dente, real name Cletus Turner. <laughs> Although if my name was Cletus, I'd have attitude too. <laughs> well, he didn't have two back when I discovered him singing on a San Francisco street corner. <laughs> and using a chicken bucket as a drum. <laughs> Since his first album went platinum, he's a little harder to please. <laughs> Hence the separation of the M&Ms. Oh. It's in his contract. He doesn't like to mix his food groups. <laughs> well, I just don't see why you have to cater to the whims of some loony tune. It's a new clinical term since whack job fell out of favor. <laughs> Ma, I'm stressed out enough. And this is the first time I've talked the record coming into spending this much money on a video shoot. My job is writing on this. <laughs> yep. If she blows this, the only connection she'll have to the music biz is the radio and her car. Thanks, thanks. Oh, come on, honey. I'm sure it's not that bad. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way, because if this shoot doesn't go well with Dante tomorrow, I'll be asking you for a loan. So we're sorting blue, you say? <laughs> who had their favorite day today in law school. Okay, me. <laughs> we had this moot court. I was clear, I was concise, and my power suit fit like butter. <laughs> so, what are you guys up to? Getting ready for Dante's video shoot tomorrow. Oh my God, his chocolate Inferno CD is one of my favorites. Can I come watch? Can I, can I? I don't think so, Dee Dee. This is serious business. That reminds me, did you pick up the heated toilet seat for Dante's dressing room? <laughs> we tested it too. Nice. Real nice. Come on, Mona. I want to see what you A&R execs do. I don't have time to babysit you and Dante. I won't get in the way. I'll let you drive my Beamer to your next 10 important business meetings. <laughs> Obviously, you don't realize how important my job is. I can't just compromise my Make position. Make it 20 meetings. See you tomorrow morning. Fill up your tank. <laughs> now remember, stick close to me and stay out of trouble. Sorry, your ID didn't scan. Well, I'm Mona Thorne. Try it again. Oh, Mona Thorne? <laughs> Sorry, your ID didn't scan. This is a closed set. I know. I'm the one who closed it now. Let me through. Look, lady, I've got a low tolerance for groupies. And dairy. Groupies? And dairy. <laughs> Excuse me. My job depends on me getting in there to do my job. Oh, you know what your job depends on? Hmm, me getting in there to do my job. Sometimes you just gotta show them who's boss. Hey, I know you Dee, right? That's right. Oh, and you're Rufus from JLo's restaurant opening. How have you been? I'm good. My worker's cop came through. Thanks for the legal advice. What brings you here? Dante's video shoot. Well, come on in, baby girl. <laughs> I don't believe this. Can my sister come too? Only if you keep an eye on her, because I'm running low on pepper spray. <laughs> Mona, we have a little problem. Your boy Dante is refusing to come out of his dressing room. I'll handle it. You just have to instill a little fear in these guys. It's the only way to get their respect. <laughs> now, Dante, you have a contract, and Delicious Records expects you to honor it. And not today. <laughs> please, please, please get out there and save me from being a bag lady. 25, please. Mona, 
Nothing personal. Love you to the sky, babe. But I'm starting to question my reason for being here. Well, could you question it while you lip sync out on stage with all the dancers who are being paid by the hour, which is quickly ticking by? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shorty. It's just that the director's a hack. His concept is tired and the song is weak. But you picked the director. You approved the concept and you wrote the song. You're right. The song is brilliant, but everything else is whack. And I refuse to sacrifice my artistic integrity. Plus, your video hotties are a little tepid. Hey, Mona, it's been 20 minutes. Do you need these? No, and I don't need you in here acting like a looky-loo. Now, her I like. Who's that? Dante, this is Dee Dee. Dee Dee, this is... No need. Everyone knows Dante. <laughs> Ashante, this dreary day is suddenly starting to look a lot brighter. And it's really bright out on set. Why don't you come and see? Uh, yo, Sunshine, are you going to be out there? Of course I will. Well, then so will Dante. OK, people, time to have a seat on my love. Pardon me? It's the title of the song. It'll sell. Don't ask. <laughs> now, baby, this perfect for lunch at Neiman's Lunch at Bloomies. Basically, anywhere I can shop and eat and spend your daddy's money. Uh, can we do this later? It's kind of hard to study contract law while the dog eats my homework and look at designer hair. I uh, hope oh, I still have to go to Burberry to buy her a coat. She's embarrassed to be seen in last year's style. <laughs> oh, hello, Sugarpuss. Listen, Dee Dee's really too busy to socialize. And Dee Dee, try to get up and move a little while you study. Remember, a pear-shaped lawyer is an unmarried lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a head attached to that hair, was there? <laughs> Don't be silly. Mother would never carry anything that heavy. <laughs> so, what's going on? Okay, Dee Dee, listen up. Remember how cooperative and almost normal Dante was when you were around? Well, he's back to his old tricks, and I won't get into details, but Rufus, the security guard, ran out crying. Uh, I only have two days to finish this video shoot, so I need a little of that Dee Dee magic, and I need it now. How much more? Well, you have to come down to set, hang out with him afterwards, then get him back to the set, and repeat. <laughs> Mona, I got you on your own set, let you drive my car, and wiped your soul glow off my headrest. Oh. I think we're even. If I don't pull this video off, my career is over. Come on, Dee Dee. I need you. Well, Dante is a cutie. A cutie who likes you. Maybe I can bring my books with me. Yes, fine. You can read in his limo while eating caviar and showing a little skin. Oh, hey, I can wear my new skirt. And show a little skin. Oh, and I have these fabulous new shoes. As long as they show a little skin. Come on. Sunshine, could you glisten Dante's bicep before we roll? One oil change, Camerata. <laughs> Sunshine, you make Dante laugh. <laughs> I can't believe my Dee Dee's going out with Dante two nights in a row. She's not your Dee Dee, but she is the reason why his dauntiness hasn't shown up late, made anyone cry, or hit anyone in the head with his cell phone. And it doesn't bother you even a little bit that you're pimping your sister? Well, Dee Dee's only my half-sister. I'm pimping the half that's not related. <laughs> Can you two keep it down? You're killing Dante's vibe. Player, a Don Juan, a Casanova, a hee-haw. 
while your literary references are impressive, I think you're making too much of this. Besides, Dee Dee's happy to do this for me. And who am I to take away from my sister's happiness? Hmm. It's not her happiness I'm worried about. Look, tomorrow the shoot will be over, and so will Dee Dee and Dante. Hey, hey Mona, I forgot to tell you. After we wrap, Dante is taking me to Cancun. Cancun? Si, senorita. <laughs> and I owe it all to you. Thanks for the hookup. If she's going out of the country with Dante, he's going to expect sex and lots of it. She's a grown woman. She can take care of herself. Mona, we're talking about across the border, booty. I mean, everybody knows the international exchange, right? Not true. I went to the Bahamas with a guy, and I didn't sleep with him once. Because a jellyfish stung him in his joints. <laughs> he was in the hospital the whole time. Do you remember everything? A man remembers that. <laughs> So do you have a slogan picked out for your thriving pimp practice? Stop calling me a pimp. How about you bring the mister, I'll bring my sister. <laughs> They look great on your velvet business cards. thought you two made the cutest couple. We are not a couple. Oh, well, you could be if you got past this friend's malarkey. <laughs> Plus, you make pretty babies. <laughs> Mom, Spencer and I are happy to keep things status quo. That's right. But your mother does have a point. Our babies would be rocking. Be yeah. <laughs> ah, there's nothing like the smell of hot grease in the morning. <laughs> Feel as you cooking or doing your hair. I could do yours if you like. Just leave it on the counter. <laughs> A tea. <-hee. laughs> now, let me do it. Thanks to you, we have a problem. Now, I raised my Didi to be very selective about the company that she keeps. And now you have her running off to Cancun with some man whose claim to fame is have a seat on my love. I promise you, my daughter will sit on better love than that. Have a seat on my love? Now, that's just a damn shame. I tell you, today's music is too suggestive for my taste. Mm -hmm. It's all about doing it and doing it and doing it well. I'm telling you, music was real music in our day. Our day? Dear heart, my day was much later than your day. <laughs> but back to my daughter and your little hip hopster. Fix this. Oh, and June Bug, don't let my displeasure take away from the fact that your hair looks especially nice today. Oh. <laughs> Ciao. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Is she going yet? I want to open my eyes. <laughs> She's right, though. I'm the one who got Dee Dee into this. I should go talk to her. Oh, so your conscience finally kicked in, huh? No. In order to have one, I'd have to be worried about my little sister. Did I just call her little sister? Oh, God, I do have a conscience. Damn her! <laughs> Man, that big Dee Dee is one scary lady. I know. That's why I always carry a crucifix in my purse. <laughs> Packing, huh? Looks like you bought out every boutique in town. No, just the one. <laughs> and I am so looking forward to this. I've never been to Cancun. It looks beautiful. Yeah, and the brochure. That's because they airbrush out all the lepers and purse snatchers. <laughs> Mona, don't trip. So, what do you think? Does this say, muy caliente or ay caramba? <laughs> Shouldn't you be keeping up with your studies instead of traveling? I mean, the law changes all the time, you know. I can study on the plane. Ooh, or maybe on the beach. <sighs> okay, look, Dee Dee, it's like this. I forbid you to go. <laughs> You're funny. I'm going. <laughs> 
Come on, Dee Dee. I didn't want to have to say this, but Dante is just using you. Mona, I don't think you understand our relationship here. No, I don't think you understand your relationship. And trust me, you are just one in a long line of women who've had a seat on his love. What do you take me for? I am not some naive little girl. Oh, that's exactly what you are. A pampered, sheltered, rich girl. I think you better go. Oh, fine, but face it, Dee Dee, you don't have a clue about how things work in the real world. I know how one thing works. Yeah, what? This door. <laughs> okay, one thing. <laughs> sister thing is really getting on my nerves. First I'm dragging her to work, then I'm worrying about her. I did not sign up to be a big sister. If I had, I would have gotten a cute little one named Shaniqua. Who <laughs> thinks I'm a goddess and does what she's told. So what are you gonna do about this? Well, simple. I'm gonna go over Didi's head. I'm just gonna tell Dante the truth. That Didi's pregnant and looking for her baby daddy. <laughs> Dante? What the hell is going on in there? <laughs> Open up, it's Mona! Hurry up, just get the shoes. God, they couldn't wait till Cancun. <laughs> Look, Dee Dee, I know you're in there, and I should have never used you like this. She's a pain. Dante, don't you touch her! Dee Dee, step away from his love! <laughs> Look, even if it means losing my job, you are my sister, and I can't just sit back and let someone take advantage of you like this. Didi! Didi, answer me! Okay. What, what was the question? But I thought you were in there. Obviously. But I heard what you said. That was really sweet. Shh, don't call me sweet. The video hose will walk all over me. <laughs> I'm gonna hug you anyway. Oh, nice. Hug, hug, hug. <sighs> Wait. Dante's in there doing something with the door locked. If it isn't with you, who is it? Barber? His boyfriend. <gasps> no freaking way. Do you mean to tell me Dante's gay? As Pottery Barn on a Saturday morning. <laughs> I didn't even have a clue. And you did. No straight man can keep that focused on my eyes, especially when the twins are enjoying a night out in their favorite Wonder Bra. <laughs> So what, he wanted you around to perpetuate his macho image? And because I have fabulous footwear. <laughs> I guess your little sister's not as naive as you thought. I guess not. And I suppose I should thank you for keeping Dante's secret. The first rule of being a good beard is discretion. The second is be prepared to be bitch slapped if you diss Moulin Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just realized I wasted a perfectly good I forbid you speech for nothing. Not for nothing. You were trying to give me some sisterly advice, and I'm not exactly used to that. Especially for my actual sister. But I liked it. Well, I'm not so sure if I do. You do. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> so, I will see you in a few days. Wait, wait, wait. You're still going to Cancun with Dante? For a free vacation with a guy who will help me scope out even cuter guys, I'll be a beard that would make Abe Lincoln proud. <laughs>
did was dance. Join me. I know you want to. 